from a mountaintop 2,000 years ago on the other side of the world comes a very special quote. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Today, I would like to honor three such men. The first being Arnold Grayton. We've all gotten to know Arnold in the process of building this amazing bridge. And I want to let you know that 39 years ago today, Arnold's father was honored in New Hampshire, and it was dedicated as the Milton Grayton Day, 39 years ago. And there was a quote written about him, and I would like to read that today because it so applies to our dear Arnold. He executes his work with complete authenticity, down to the most minute detail, with a degree of craftsmanship that is a joy to behold. We thank you, Arnold, for this work. The second man I would like to honor is Will Henry Stevens. What these men share is their modesty, their integrity, their talent. And Will Henry Stevens was a professor at Newcomb Art School. And my mother was one of his students, and she, he was a mentor to her. And when we brought this project home to my mother and father, my mother immediately said, it must be the Will Henry Stevens Bridge. This is, a, this is a quote by Will Henry Stevens himself. I'd like to read this. I am not so ambitious to be known. I feel guilty when I hide my work away and good when I show it. My pictures are my contributions as they are the best I can do. So today we honor Will Henry Stevens. The third humble and great man I want to honor today is my father, Jimmy Coleman. He is the one who encouraged my mother to attend Newcomb Art School. 30 years ago, when she had a dream to have the New Orleans Academy of Fine Arts, he was right by her side to support her every step along the way. And also, when we brought this concept of this covered bridge, he was right there to give his full support of this project. He passed away a year and a half ago, and the Times-Picayune had a quote the next day in the newspaper describing his life. And the quote said, his works will speak for him forever. So these three men all represent the great quality of humbleness, of creativity, of talent, and their works will speak for them forever, all three. So this bridge is a symbol of connections, connecting New Orleans to Highlands, which incidentally, my mother and father celebrated their honeymoon here in Highlands many years ago, 70 years ago. Uh, so, connecting New Orleans to Highlands, the New Orleans Academy of Fine Arts to this beautiful Bascom. But mainly, it connects this community and this region to the celebration of the arts. And today, we honor these three men. We honor this amazing project. So, from the Coleman Winninger family, my mother and my father, my husband Tom, our two daughters, we want to all say bravo to the Will Henry Stevens Bridge and bravo to the Bascom. Thank you. Well, it gives me a truly great pleasure to once again come and congratulate the Bascom, uh, the board of directors of this place that has been so much in our lives even now for the last two years. To have the entrance of this bridge, of this beautiful area, be a gorgeous bridge, 
is indeed wonderful to see. That this place would have such a future of creating art, exhibiting art, and teaching art is something that's <coughs> wonderful for Highlands, and it's wonderful for the area, it's wonderful for the South, and it's wonderful in another way in connecting the North with the South and the Southeast. I think we're right here in the middle of the South here between New Orleans and New Hampshire. What a wonderful way to go. Just a little bit about the, the, the history of this bridge. As many of you may know, uh, this bridge uh, existed in the early 1800s in New Hampshire, over a river there in New Hampshire. And it existed for 150 years as a bridge across this particular river. Uh, until late, uh, 1960, I think it was, when the bridge fell into disrepair uh, and was almost destroyed. But before it was destroyed, Mr. Granton uh, came by and said, look, I'll buy this bridge for a dollar. And he bought it for a dollar and put it in storage. And since 1960 until just this, this past year, it has been in storage. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it was, you heard the story of how we found out about the bridge, brought it up here, uh, brought it here two years ago, and it has been uh, put together. And remember the pulling of the bridge just a year ago across this area, uh, which was a big affair also. You know, we're always interested in history in Highlands. Highlands is a historical place. We love the preservation of history. We love the preservation of in incredible structures like this. Even though the bridge was in disrepair, it has been beautifully brought back uh, into existence by a number of people, uh, Mr. Grattan, of course, and then the, the organization in uh, Cary, North Carolina, the Finichetti uh, Engineering in Cary, North Carolina also had a lot to do with this. And you should know, too, that the architect of this bridge also was the architect of the Greek Renaissance Capitol building in Raleigh, North Carolina. So the architect in the early 1800s was the architect of part of North Carolina also. So we just are, are grateful to, for this historical connection to a lot of the parts of the country as we put this uh, bridge together, and it's a fitting entrance into, uh, into the Bascom, as we all look forward to what that uh, can do for us. So we're interested in historical preservation, and we thank the Bascom, the board of directors, Bob Fisher, and all the people who've had to do with the structure, with the bringing back of this bridge, and making it what it is today, from almost being destroyed to now having hopefully another 150 years to be with us. Thank you. Let me tell you something about Will Henry. If Will Henry Stevens was here today, he'd be hiding in the woods somewhere. <laughs> he was so timid, he was so humble, and so talented. And I just will always be grateful for having him as a teacher of mine at Newcom Art School. And uh, it, this is just a great, great event for me, for Will, for the area, for the Bascom. It's good in many, many ways. And I feel so honored to be here as a part of it. I thank all of you so much. Thank you.